Hello, I'm Tini Esveld and I have a gallery which specializes in Emile Calais, Dome and Schneider. And here we have a magnificent dome vase. Jean Dome was a notary in the eastern part of France, in Lorraine, and in 1878 he found himself with a glass factory. He had lent money to a glass factory and when they couldn't repay him, he ended up with the glass factory. And his two sons, Auguste and Antonin, started to work with the factory. And it was really because they were impressed by the great success of Emile Calais. And in the beginning, they looked, they were much inspired by Calais. But later on, they developed their own taste and their own beautiful products, like, for example, this dome vase, which was made in 1900. It was probably made for the great exhibition in Paris because you find a number on the bottom and when a vase is numbered it is made for an exhibition and when you look at it you can understand why it was made for an exhibition because it's a very difficult technique it's multi-layered glass and then the last layer is in this case the brown layer was cut away by acid etching but the flowers in this case the Datura flowers, which were very well loved by the interior decorated in Paris, in France, in 1900. The Datura flowers are all cut by hand and the leaves and everything. Imagine when you handle a vase like this and you make a mistake, the whole vase is ruined and it takes months to make a vase like this. On the top you see wheel engraving and it's called martelet. It's almost like it has been hammered, but it is wheel engraved by hand. I'm very proud to have this vase because it's such a unique vase. There's only one photograph of a vase similar like this in a book by Noel Dome, but it's much smaller. And that's the only one that's known up till now. We will present it in Amsterdam in November at our next fair at, as one of our top pieces. And you're welcome to admire it there. Maybe I'll see you there. Bye bye.